Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today I want to show you how to use QuickTime Pro to edit your own video. So iMovie is a great tool for making videos, but QuickTime Pro actually has some really interesting features that can be a little easier to use at times. Let's go and take a look how to make a really simple video with a title and some music at the beginning and then a few video clips put together after that. So let's gather the media first. Say I've got three video clips, clip one, two, and three. You could have gotten these from anywhere. Maybe you used your regular camera in movie mode to record them. You end up with three movie files. It can handle formats of just about any kind, MP4, H.264, anything. These came out as .MOVs. So I've got three movie clips. I also want to have a little intro. So I've created a graphic called Title. And I, you can create this in any kind of image editing program. You can even just type some text into text edit and then do a screen capture of it. So you have a graphic that you want to use as your title and also a piece of music. And I grab this piece of music out of my GarageBand library where it's got lots of short little jingles and things like that. So I've got a piece of music, title graphic, and three video clips. And I want to put that together in a simple video using QuickTime Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and run QuickTime Pro and I want to go and just basically say New Player and I get this blank timeline called Untitled. There's nothing in it right now. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the music and I'm going to do that in QuickTime Player. So I'm going to control click on it to open with and QuickTime Player so it doesn't open in iTunes. So now I've got two QuickTime Player windows. This one here with the music in it and this Untitled one. I'm going to go ahead and select this one, do Command A to select all copy. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste. And what I get is the music pasted into this blank document. I also get the entire area selected automatically. You can see the start and the end and you can also see that the playback head is right at the end now and the entire thing is kind of a little darker meaning it's selected. I want to leave that selected and I want to go and get the next thing. So I'm going to close this video, video here, the audio only video, and I'm going to right click on the picture and I'm going to open that also with QuickTime Player. And I end up with just basically it's a single frame movie with this image in it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select all, copy again. I'm going to go back into this window which is the document I'm trying to create and I'm going to paste it in but not just a regular paste. I'm going to select actually Add to Selection and Scale. What that will do is it will paste this in and scale it to the size of the area selected. So we have this piece of music that's so long and it's going to actually paste this in and stretch it to be the same amount of time as the piece of music. Great. So now I've got this right here and it's actually scaled to be 13 seconds long. And I can play it and see. Great. So I'm going to move the playback head all the way to the end again. So I'm ready to insert the next piece. Now for these video clips it's very easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on them which will open them up in QuickTime Player and I'm going to go ahead and Command A for all, Command C for copy, go over here, make sure my playback head is at the end and paste it in. And I can see now it's pasted it in and it's selected it so it's this bit at the end and it's moved the playback head all the way to the end there. I'm going to do that for the other two clips as well. Paste it in. Select it, copy it, and paste it in. So now I've got a video here that starts off with the music, goes all the way through, starts my first video, goes to the second video, and the third video. And if I like, I can actually paste the title graphic or a new graphic at the end as well. So I can go ahead here and um, select the music, open with QuickTime Player, copy it paste that in and you can see it's pasted it in and it's selected it and then open up, I'm going to use the same graphic but you can use a different one say for your closing credits. Select all, copy and this time go and say add to selection and scale. So now I've got opening credits, first video, second video, third video, closing credits. There you go. Now that you have this complete what you can do is you can save it and you can save it as a self-contained movie which means it will compile all the parts together or as a reference movie meaning it's going to rely on the other QuickTime movies and the elements that you've got. Or you can simply skip that step and go straight to export 
and you can select your export options and you can select it say to save as an iPod uh, formatted video or Apple TV formatted video or create your own QuickTime Movie options. Now you can even get a lot more complex with QuickTime Pro. For instance, you can paste video over other video and they don't have to be of the same size. So you can essentially paste titles or inset graphics on top of another video. Something that's impossible to do in iMovie. There's a ton of different options you can play with. And QuickTime Pro is only 30 bucks from Apple. It's just a download. So it's cheap and easy to get and it's worth it for this type of editing and also for all the export options you can do. You can quickly convert one type of QuickTime movie to another type of QuickTime movie. So I highly recommend it. It's definitely one of the primary tools in my toolbox for creating the MacMost videos. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>